What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. You can see today I got the free smoke merch on. Go check them out on YouTube, by the way. Today, we are going to start the Challenger, the Scat Pack. I'm going to hand my keys off to somebody else, and then we're going to drive. Now, I got the latest update on the um, Challenger that is supposed to make it harder to steal now i don't have the update yet that made it where they put in the four digit code Th that's something that's supposed to come later but right now uh basically you're supposed to get to a certain distance or whatever a certain amount of time driving without the key and it's supposed to disable the car this is what i i was told this is what was in the notes because you know you'll say to tell you you can that could tell you you have a software update and one, one of the things was security update to you know like theft deterrent or something and when i talked to the dealer about it that's what they said it did so we're gonna see now as we saw yesterday when i used a repeater box i was able to start my car and drive it down the street with no frigging keys this should be a nightmare scenario to anybody that owns one of these cars so what i'm gonna do now is uh we're gonna fire her up i'm gonna let her warm up and then i'm gonna hand off my keys you'll see that the key fob is not in the vehicle then we're gonna go for a drive <music> baby we're even going to be ballsy with it we're going to turn the radar detector off because that's annoying we're even going to be ballsy with it guys damn i'm flaking everywhere today i need to get a haircut we're accepting uh we're going to go to drive modes we're going to go into sport i'm even going to be ballsy we're going to turn the traction control off too i want to have all the power when we're going look at that uh all right so we're good we're fired up we're gonna let her warm up I, I try to let my car idle for about a minute minute and a half make sure the oil is circulating and stuff before we roll out and then you guys will uh, get to see me hand off my keys and then we're gonna go for a drive all right guys i've handed off my keys as you can see there is no key fob in the vehicle and now we're gonna drive and we're gonna see what the security update's about all right, so we are in gear and we are rolling and um, so far, no issues. So this is where it gets massively concerning for me, right? Somebody has used a repeater box now. They have access to your basically car, you know, they're in it. They're mashing on the gas. They're using all the performance settings. They're rolling down at 60 miles an hour down the road and you guessed it there's still no keys in the vehicle now you can see my mileage is at 24 160 i figure we'll just roll for like five or ten miles and see if this supposed dodge security fix is actually gonna shut down the car or not and this is the thing man this is why this is so stupid it's just dumb it drives me nuts because for me you know, and I, I know there's been other people that are like, can you drive your car without a key fob for a while? And, and I've seen videos like this before, but not after. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because they specifically put out a security update that's supposed to limit the range that you're able to drive the vehicle without the key present. Now, I can also understand people saying, well, TK, then that, that will ruin it. You know, like, what if somebody genuinely forgot their keys at Starbucks or something and they drove away? Well, one, they shouldn't have been able to start their car. Um, you know, what about if somebody was had it running and they got out of the ATM and they dropped their keys and now they can't get back? Well, that's a life lesson. And um, that's a lesson that I think people should have to learn because this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm blown away right now that... I'm literally just rolling down the street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what?
Ooh, that sun is a beast, boy. Mm. 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 Matter of fact, I'm in my stolen car right now, and I'm cruising by the sheriff's department with no keys. Absolutely no keys in the vehicle. None. He was nice. He waved. Maybe I'll put that on my GoPro. I got the GoPro mounted on the front. Um, so this should be concerning for you. If you own a Hellcat, if you own a Scat Pack, if you own, hell, if you own an SXT or a freaking RT, this should make you maddening, maddening, ugh, I can't even talk right now. This should make you maddeningly insane, all right? Did I just say Don Maddingly? What the hell? Anyways, my brain is not working today, but this is a massive concern because like, I know people will say, well, then, well, in order for them to steal your car, they have to be able to find one of these repeater boxes, right? True. We're still here. The key fob is still out of the vehicle. We're still rolling. I'm sitting here at a light. Um, you can see there's a GoPro over there. I'll put some of that footage in here somehow. And look, I'm back into gear and look at that. We're rolling. We're rolling down the street. Now, I know some of y'all will say, well, how come you don't do it like your buddy Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds and just fly by the seat of your pants and not have somebody follow you? Ah, I'm good. You know, Randy might be in a little bit better shape than me. I don't feel like walking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like walking or hoping I can catch an Uber for four or five miles if this thing shuts down. So yes, I have somebody following me. But the thing for me with this was, this was this is huge. This should make news, okay? This, this should legit make news because they literally just pushed out this security update that said, you know, when you drive... I think it was five miles, which that's already too far. But when you drive a certain distance, that that's it. These cars are supposed to just dis disable. It should trip a security thing that shuts the car down. Now, now they're saying they're going to put out another update where you'll have a four-digit code. Let's keep it real. How many of us want to start our car? We already got to wait 30 seconds for the oil to circulate, which I guess you could say. But if your car's already warm and you're at a, a car meet, and somebody's been doing some dumb stuff, you know what I'm talking about, and you just want to leave unmolested and not have to deal with talking to the cops, you don't want to be one of the last cars out where you get pulled, let's keep it real. Do you want to get in your car and wait for you connect to load up for you to put in that four-digit code to drive away? Hell no! That is an asinine, asinine. I mean, I'm glad they're thinking of something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely thankful that they're thinking of something, but this is BS, man. This is cold BS. So, I'm now several miles into my trip, and uh, I'm thinking about getting some food. I just don't know what I want. Now that I don't have the sun, I can take these off. I don't know what I want. Maybe maybe Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe some KFC. I don't know, man. Where I'm at right now, I'm, just, I'm a little aggravated. Just, just a little bit that I was able to drive my car several miles, well beyond the five mile limit, by the way. And um, did the security system shut down my car? Nope. Should it have shut down my car? Yep. And if you own a car like this, you should be pissed. My, my following vehicle is now going to leave because I am uh, embracing my, my inner Randy here and I'm gonna 
And if, shout out to, if you don't, if you see this video and you're like, what the hell is he talking about? Um, Randy's a good friend. I uh, consider him family over at Auto Auction Rebuilds uh, here on YouTube. And he does this kind of stuff all the time. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> so, but what we're going to do is we're going to try not to stall the car because then I would be screwed. I am in a manual. But I am going to go through the drive through here at Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I'm going to get me some... Uh, I'm gonna get me a Kentucky Fried Chicken Sandwich Meal. That's what I'm gonna get, because I'm hungry and I need to eat. And uh, I'm gonna leave my, my chase car, as you can see back there, is pulling out and leaving. And I got no help now. So now I gotta see if she's gonna run and go all the way back. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> Bzz, wrong, try again, dumbass. Hi. Nah, can I get the the original chicken sandwich or the classic chicken sandwich uh, meal? Okay, is that okay? It's without pickles because I don't have any pickles. That's fine. All right, and what's your side and drink? Uh, fries and Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that was all for you? That's it. All right, so it's going to be seat tonight, please. Thank you. Thank you. I know y'all are just entirely interested in my in my cardiac uh, health and the food that I'm eating. I am drinking water though. Shout out to shout out to my family, the real Nova Seven Ninety Seven, who constantly stays on my ass about this water. So does Shaker Tito and a bunch of other people. Mm. See that? Full water bottle. I got a full another one right here. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to get roasted for this, though. Oh, the people in front of me had to be like, yo, what is up with the GoPro? I don't understand. How are you doing? Good. Yourself? Uh, classic sandwich. Huh? It's a regular sandwich. You want a regular, not the spicy? Yes, ma'am. No, I can't do the spicy stuff. Okay. No, ma'am. Alright, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Well, the number 14 is the spicy. The number 12 is a regular. The regular one? Yeah, I didn't even know what number it was. I just know... Some places call it classic and other people call it original and yes ma'am. It's okay, we get beats. <laughs> I said classic, right? Or I said original. I didn't say spicy. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Alright, so now we have to try to not stall the car and make it all the way home with still no key fob in the vehicle. understand why people are stealing these cars because that never gets old it just never does and as you can see we're still out here driving i don't pick me up some kfc 
we could probably make us a run to the club, have some drinks, do our thing. And you know what? Oh, I am almost out of gas, though. But people that have been following me for a long time know that's nothing new for me. I'm always on E because I'm constantly moving. Here we go. I got to get around this turn before I can shift. Excessively loud. see it still says key fob left the vehicle we're still rolling this is insane man this is absolutely freaking insane man there is no excuse for this shit none none dodge i am blown away that i am literally able to just drive this car with no freaking key fob which technically means you know somebody could probably steal your car right right out of your driveway with one of those little repeater boxes that I showed in another video. If you're if you're just seeing this video and you haven't seen the other video yet, you might wanna go, let me get in the wide angle here. You might wanna go check that out. Um, the other video here on the channel shows how you can literally steal any one of these Mopar products in like five seconds. Like literally walk up. I mean, there uh, there is some, and then I'm not gonna get into the specifics because that was some of the comments where people were like, well, how do you set the box up? And da, 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 da. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to get into that because I'm not going to be, pro I'm not promoting car theft. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to teach somebody how to steal a car. But I wanted people to see really how easy it is to steal one of these cars. And look at this. I've now, you know, stolen this car, stolen my own car. I'm driving it with no key fob. And it means like you could literally take it and roll out. Now I'm wondering in a car like this, like a manual, ooh, I'm, I have a, I had a decision there to make, do I hit the clutch or? Um, in a car like this, that's a manual, I was also wondering, is it possible to roll start one of these without having this in the on position without the key? That might be the next thing because I am a manual. But this is ridiculous at this point. The fact that we are here, the fact that we're here, the fact that I'm driving right now, and we've been driving for a long time, well outside of that five mile thing that they said that they were instituting on whatever the latest security update was. Um, that's kind of ridiculous. And then on top of this, look, I'm rolling by the sheriff's department, waving at them. And you know what? I'm still driving with no friggin' key fob. None. Now, if you're a Dodge owner, this should massively, massively concern you. Because with one of those repeater boxes, they don't even need, um, they don't even need a tow truck or a method of transportation. If you're in a major city or somewhere near a port like Boston, Baltimore, Miami, I think DC too, different areas in Virginia. They could steal your car, drive it straight to the port, and it's on a friggin' shipping container, never to be seen again. It, well, parts of your car will be seen in Dubai and places like that, but you'll never see it again. That's what's crazy. Somebody could steal your car without the keys out of your driveway, and the car would not give two shits, and they could drive it across the country if they never shut it off. That's insane. This should be a massive red alert for every single Dodge owner. The fact that I was able to drive all the way into town, okay, to come off of post, go into town, get food, and now go back. This really has me thinking like, did I make a bad decision on buying a Dodge product? And I know you guys are gonna say, oh, TK, you're being you're being melodramatic or whatever. I just smeared a bug on my window, it's gonna drive me nuts. Um, I'm being melodramatic, but for real, for real, no, I'm not. I'm being, I'm OCD, sorry. I'm being honest at where this is legit massively concerning to me and it should be concerning to you if you're a Mopar owner so if this video has helped you out in any way 
uh, let me know. But we're going to go ahead. We'll finish the video here in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and make it all the way uh, back in. I just have to go back through the gate. So I just realized a problem. So I made it all the way back. And uh, I don't have my keys. Now, I can still get into where I'm at. That's not a problem. But I don't have my keys. <laughs> I left them. So that should be massively funny to you guys. But here we are. We're still here. The key fob is still not in the vehicle. We took an entire trip. We went and picked up some KFC. So if this video was interested, in, interesting to you and you enjoyed it, let me know by smashing the thumbs up. Also comment below if this is massively alarming to you as a Dodge owner and go check out the other video where I was able to steal my own car in like five seconds with no keys. That one was crazy. All right guys, so we're back in. Before I end today's video, uh, one more point of clarification. So somebody had hit me up before, well, during the process of me editing this video um, and clarified that they're not specific on the mileage on the latest security patch of when a vehicle would be disabled, which is very vague. So I guess we'll try it again and I'll give you guys my um, thoughts. And I'm thinking, how about I just drive it all the way to Copart? That's a good 30 or 40 miles. I mean, how far are they going to let us drive the car with no frigging keys? So here's the thing. Uh, if you're in a major metropolitan city like Baltimore or you know, Norfolk, not metropolitan, but like you're in a port city like New Orleans or Norfolk or, you know, Miami. It's not going to take you 20 miles to get to the seaport if somebody was stealing in a car and putting it on a shipping container. Not saying that's what happens when cars get stolen. I'm just, you know, that's kind of what happens when your car gets stolen. Like they mostly either they tear it down and it's used for parts where well, they ship the whole car overseas. So, not happy about it. But, there you go. Yeah, I guess you can drive your Hellcat Scat Pack RT SXT. Uh, if they make a four-cylinder version, like basically you can drive any Dodge, Mopar, Jeep, or Chrysler product with no key fob for as long as you want. Because... Now they're being super vague about how far you can drive and they won't say. So I guess we're just going to have to test the theory. Anyways, if you found the video informing or alarming to you, um, share it. Let people know that this is BS. The fact that somebody could just get one of these repeater boxes and pick up your key signal from in the house and just drive your car away and drive it coast to coast if they want. Not cool. Thank <laughs> you.